Hi, this is Dr. Kale Goldfarb with Water and Sports Physical Therapy. Today I have Dr. C.J. Regala with me. We're going to talk about spinal stenosis. Basic terms, spinal stenosis is when you have decreased space in the joints. Typically, there's a decrease in the amount of verte vertebral height, how much disc height there is. So when that has less height, you squeeze down, and often you squeeze down on the nerves that exit through the area, which can cause pain down the back and all the way down the leg and sometimes into the foot, depending which nerve root level it is. So some basic ideas of spinal stenosis and how to treat it yourself or by a healthcare practitioner is to look at your pelvis position. If your pelvis is in an arched position, let's have CJ stand to the side here, and you have what's called an anterior pelvic tilt, where you see how it arches here, that will cause the joints to compress on the nerves. If your pelvis rotates the other way under, that will decompress. This is called a posterior pelvic tilt. The goal is we want to have the pelvis so it unloads the spine and the facet joints in the back. In order to do that, the first thing to remember is that you have to have enough mobility. Doesn't matter how strong you are, if the joint can't move there, strength is not going to help you. So we look at some common disorders and a muscle imbalance. The muscle imbalance typically is you have tight anterior muscles in the front, your iliopsoas, hip flexors, and that will pull you so you have an arch. You also have tight lumbar multifidus in the spine, and that will pull you into an arch position. Usually you have weak low abdominals and usually lengthen hamstrings. So, for exercises, what you want to do is you want to stretch your hip flexors. The key to that is a standing hip flexor stretch. So CJ is going to show you from the side how to do a standing hip flexor stretch. What you do is one leg goes in front, one leg goes in back, and you have to do a posterior tilt. Tilt your pelvis under. Once that pelvis is tilted under, you should feel an engagement of the iliopsoas in the front, your hip flexor. Let's start over again. Let's bring your leg back. Let's take a very small step forward, just real tiny, and now tilt under. That tilt is what's going to get the hip flexor stretch. Stretches are usually 30 second holds at a time, at least three times each. Then you want to work on your mobility for your lumbar spine to make sure it's open. So if we were to do that from the side, we want CJ to basically pull under and he keep tilting under. This tilting motion again unloads the joints. This can be done in a sitting position, in a standing position, or lying down on a table. Very important to keep yourself in an unloaded position if you have stenosis. Looking at your feet is another thing not to forget about. If you have pronated feet, which means that your feet, the arches go down, that causes your lumbar spine to arch. So we want to make sure you have orthotics in your shoes if your feet are pronated, which will give you a little lift and take that pressure off the joints in the back. Also, walking uphill or on elliptical on a high level, an incline, is better than walking downhill. When you walk downhill, it's going to cause you to arch your back, and that's what we don't want to happen. So those are some basic points for stenosis and how to treat it yourself. But make sure if you have nerve symptoms or nerve pain down the legs, make sure that you see a healthcare practitioner. It's very important. The most important thing is to figure out the cause of your pain. Once you know the cause, you can always figure out how to fix it.